Nick Keeve here and welcome to the Cars and Keeve YouTube channel. In this video, this is probably about the dirtiest any of my cars have been in quite some time. Not since I had a Land Rover about 10 years ago I used to off-road with, but I didn't care about that because it was scratched up anyway. So this video, we're trying to get rid of all this caked on mud, dirt, uh, road salt, all kinds of stuff. The rear wheels are completely caked on the inside. The outside isn't as bad because the tires are a little bit further inside. Now this is new for me because I live in Atlanta. We really don't get much road salt. There aren't too many gravel or dirt roads. Uh, we usually don't get this kind of issue, but recently my wife got a new job. She uh, works for a company that's out of Virginia, but she works remote. But every once in a while she has to go up there and she prefers to drive than fly. Obviously I'm not taking my other cars on a dirt road because the company owns a house uh, that they use for people that come into town and it's on a dirt road. It happened to be raining uh, when she was up there, so we got all this mud flung up on the side. At the same time, they had freezing rain. They've had snow already this year up there. So now we have some salt road film on the car as well. Now we're going to treat this just as if it's a wheel and tire cleaning. We're just expanding our area. So normally you would hit the wheel and tire first before you do the rest of the car, before you do your pre-rinse, uh, your foam cannon soak, your mitt wash, all that kind of stuff. So we're just going to expand that down the line about, you know, hip high, just depending on how high the majority of this really, uh, you know, caked on dirt is. We'll spray that down with DIY detail, rinseless wash. I'm using my IK Foam Pro 12. Uh, you could use a pump foamer. You could use a Pro 2 Plus uh, foamer with the Schrader valve from your air compressor. This one, I recently got the battery powered uh, attachment for this. So I basically have unlimited air. I have a video that just came out on this really awesome it's a little expensive at 155 bucks so you're like 255 dollars if you're looking for the foam pro 12 or the diy detail rinseless wash use my discount code cars with uh, we're also using my scs 28 gun with a pivoting coupler and i have my 40 degree tip for my active 2.0 this is the 3.7 so that's going to put us right at a thousand psi uh, nothing too crazy uh, the pivoting coupler allows me to do uh, multiple angles uh, this way, that way to get inside this rear wheel and get all that caked on stuff off. So we don't want to shoot the pressurized water directly at the panel. We want to hit it at an angle shooting downward, really kind of downward and this way, kind of where the wind blows across the car is kind of the angle you want to take, but we're also don't want to shoot this dirt anywhere else on the car. So kind of at this angle right here, I think is good, probably about 45 degrees on the spray. Now, a lot of people still believe in uh, rinsing it down with water first before they even get to the soap. But I'm telling you, you're going to want to put some type of foam, soap, or something on here at least to get some lubricity and encapsulate that dirt and get it off the paint safer. With the pressurized water, with this much dirt, you're going to have millions of micro scratch missiles going on here. Uh, you want to get it off as safely as possible. Rinseless wash has done really well for me. Uh, it has enough foaming action because it's a rinseless wash that actually has surfactants in it. So it's a soap and a rinseless wash. You have the polymers for protection encapsulating the dirt, but you also have the soap and surfactants to help break down the dirt and help get it off the panel. Now you can also go on here with an APC, a really strong, like say super clean, or you want to go towards the pH neutral, like a W5 from a G-Technic or all clean uh, from DIY Detail, which is kind of in between those two. The rinseless wash and this foamer right here is 32 to 1 dilution ratio is what they suggest. If you're using a foam can, you don't have to use a foamer like this. I just prefer this for my rinseless wash. I'm loving this for that. Uh, a foam can, just dial the uh, foam back a little bit because we don't want a foamy, foamy, thick foam. We want a little more of a soaking foam. We want it to be uh, you know, more wet is the way I would say it. All right, before we go to it, let's show you how dirty this is. See, we got that caked on dirt in the rear well. A little bit on the wheel and tire, not too much. As you can see, higher up from the rocker panel at the bottom, uh, it's just mainly like road film and salt. Not as bad, but down here we have caked on dirt all along the bottom of the rocker panel. The mud and dirt is really caked up in there on the back end as well. Wheel and tire, not so much. And then this big spot back here at the tail. All right, we got our Foam Pro 12 ready. Now, noise-wise, the compressor is gonna kick on the minute this thing has been going just three or four seconds. Now, if you had enough pressure, you could try to knock off some of the dirt while you're trying to foam it down. Uh, that helps as well.
Now what I'm gonna do is wait for this line right here to get all the way down past the rocker panel and then I'll start my rinse. Inside, I can wait a little while before it can dry. Outside, if you're in the sun, obviously you're gonna have to start this sooner. There's all that dirt that's come off so far. As you can see back here, the drip line has made it all the way down. It didn't do it right here. I guess I didn't did uh, runny enough here. It's just kind of stuck. So I'm going to take my gun and have it sideways. I'm going to turn my pivoting coupler this way so I can lay the gun on my tire and guide it like this. Then I'll take it, we'll change the angle a little bit, and then we'll hit. We're going to flip it back up again, get our angle kind of going this way, but up a little bit so we can hit this without shooting water onto my ceiling, and then also getting in here. Now we're straight out for the last bit here, and the wheel and tire. So that works pretty good. Even just the, the pressure from the uh, Foam Pro 12 was enough to knock a lot of that dirt off. Now this car isn't like uberly protected. It doesn't have a full ceramic coating. I've been using G-Technic Easy Coat and DIY Detail Quick Beats. They're spray on rinse off sealant. So nothing really strong. As you're going on to your wash process, you really don't necessarily have to spray pre-rinse on this bottom half of the car. Just coat your top of the car and maybe lightly do the bottom, but it's gonna work its way down on these panels that have already been uh, pre-rinsed. Then you can move on to your foam and mitt wash contact. So let's go ahead and move to the back. We'll do like a time-lapse to music kind of thing on the back half of the car. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rass in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. Never gonna look back. Well, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to help you remove dirt more safely. Now, if you have a suggestion that you do, leave it in the comments below. I always like good feedback. Uh, Rinseless wash DIY detail works amazing. It foams up really well. I was using the uh, wet foam uh, siphon for the iPhone Pro 12. So I hope you enjoyed it. Cars with key discount at DIY Detail, 10% off. Their prices are about as cheap as it gets when it comes to the IK products. The battery compressor is only available through Rag Company right now. Uh, it's tough to get. Sells out now and then. Uh, they're doing pre-orders here and there. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And getting that, uh, you know, knee high, maybe a little bit more. Don't tell me to stay in a shower. I don't even know where I left off.